All right, guys, just bought a massive lot for 600. Uh, guy had a game posted. I messaged him and said if he had any more because he was a little far away. Uh, he said he did have more, he wouldn't want to ship. So I said, hey, if you have enough, we can try to make something work and end up getting all this for 600. So let's go over it. Uh, some of those better stuff right here Mario Party 8, Metro Prime, Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, Catherine. And then in here, we have some filler stuff Fable, Life for Dead 2 is not bad. Namco Virtual Arcade. I don't know if that's one of the good ones. Army of Two, Metal Gear Rising, which is sealed. Uh, Street Fighter, X Tekken, Oblivion, Halo Reach, Oblivion. Uh, then let's go through some of the stuff that doesn't have manuals. I'll oh, family that does have manual on life in that stack. I don't, oh, because that stuff's supposed to go in there. Uh, Mass Effect, one of the better ones there. This stuff doesn't have manuals. We have Chrono Cross, Dragoon, uh, Mega Man X, Sonic Mega Collection, Wind Waker, Xenosaga, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Grandia Extreme, God of War, Prince of Persia, Yu Yu Hakusho, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Castlevania. This stuff all does have manuals. We have Twilight Princess, Soul Calibur, Sonic Gems Collection, Cell Damage, Metal Gear Twin Snakes, and Bloody Roar. This stuff has manuals too. We have Rampage 2, Twisted Metal 4, Rashida Blade, Final Fantasy 7, Gundam Battle Arena 2, Lunar 2, Silent Hill, Tecmo's Deception, Dino Crisis, Alone in the Dark, Silent Hill HD Collection, Fortnite, uh, Front Mission, Shin Megami, Second Runner, Gundam, The Warrior, Armor Core 2, Outbreak, Dragon Guard, uh, Time Splash 2, Jeff Damn Fire for New York, Indigo Prophecy, and some other filler titles there. This is basically just disc because it is in a blockbuster case. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I'm kind of on the fence. Shattered Memories. Very expensive PS2 game. Uh, but disc only may be hard to find a case in manual. And then the stuff I'm for sure keeping. Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition. Dino Crisis 2. Day of Reckoning. Mega Man Collection. Code Veronica X. Castlevania Chronicles. Vampire Hunter D. Parasite Eve 2. Obscure. Fatal Fame 3. And Resident Evil Dead Aim. So $600.00 over three thousand dollars for some stuff here so super good deal stay tuned for more guys all right guys sorry i'm by a road so if it sounds a little loud that's why a few more games i picked up but that's in that deal yoshi's island we have turtles in time we have uh ren and stimpy dark Kong country batman returns super mario world and when i went back i picked up Three and 64s with AV and power cords. One has expansion pack for 90. Stopped that one yard sale. Got this CD rack. As I'm trying to fix it with my UCD. Got this CD rack and these three items for five bucks. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban on GameCube. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Stay Out of the Basement VHS. Uh, they had three Goosebumps VHSs, but two of them were Haunted House. And of course, that's the only one I have so far. So that was annoying. Uh, but I'll show you the rest from the original lot when I get back inside. Stay tuned for more, guys. Help. <laughs> you step on mommy. All right, guys. So first of all, the rest of that lot that I showed you this morning, uh, all these are case and manuals. But NCAA 14, good case and manual. Uh, Pokemon X, I'm going to keep that and find it. Uh, Dark Alliance 2 is also not a bad case and manual. It's not too bad there. I'm going to sell the two SmackDown vs. Rawls. Trade Black Ops and the GameStop. Keep Street 2, uh, bundle Star Wars Knights of the Republic in with something, keep the Orange Box. The two games I'm excited about keeping is Pokemon Stadium 2 on N64. I do have the box in manual, so this completes it. And Pokemon White 2, complete in box. This is like $160 game, so really excited. Stopped at one yard sale, picked up three things for a dollar a piece. Uh, goosebumps, stay out of the basement. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. So, nice little luck there. Not too bad. Stay tuned for more, guys. All right, guys. Just picked up a lot for 20. Came with those three games. Infinite Discovery, uh, or Infinite Undiscovery or whatever. is kind of nasty looking, so I don't want to touch it right now. Uh, but picked up. I mean, these are super clean PS1 games. I mean, you can just tell how clean they are. Chef's Love Shack. Here's a good example. CTR. It's still got, like, the mail-in promo just sitting there. Like, they are super clean. So my original plot thought was to lot these together and sell them. I don't know. These will probably all upgrade my copies. Then I'll sell whatever copies I have of these. Because, yeah, these are just really clean. He told me they were clean, but I kind of just didn't 
believe it. And then when I met up, I was like, wow, they actually are super clean. Because everybody will tell you every game looks really clean ahead of time and they look really nice. And so, yeah, I mean, not an outstanding pickup for 20 bucks, not bad. <laughs>